The eyes of the world are once again fixed on Britain. After being the first Western nation to start a mass COVID-19 vaccination campaign, it's now testing a mix and match strategy. 820 trial participants are involved. Some will get an AstraZeneca primer followed by a Pfizer-BioNTech boost. Others will have the opposite. Or they could get two doses of the same shot, the current standard practice. Dr. Alan Bernstein says the findings could change how the world responds to the pandemic. We're getting really short of supplies now. You know, there's just a limit to how many vials or chemicals one can make in the world to vaccinate the hundreds of millions of people that have already been vaccinated. And so as we, we need to make sure everybody on the planet is vaccinated. And that's going to require, I think, this flexibility of supply. If the mix and match strategy addresses that, researchers say it would be a major step forward, but it could also lead to enhanced immunity. While all of the vaccines target the spike protein, they focus on different locations in that region. So mixing doses may possibly provide broader spectrum immunity. This is not a crazy idea that suddenly just come up because we're so desperate for vaccines for COVID. This is actually something that immunologically uh, makes sense. Vaccines for Ebola, TB and malaria are already based on the mix and match concept. While widely used in other disease treatments, the UK study is the only one underway looking at COVID-19 vaccines something that surprises this Sabin Vaccine Institute leader. And like the rest of this response, we want this to be the best science-based response as possible, and it'd be important to know if A followed by B is as good as A followed by A, or vice versa. I'm due to get my second shot, my boost, in a one or two months, I hope. I hope the trial is done by the time it's time for me to get my boost, and I can, I, I can have that option, or, or at least talk to my physician about which vaccine I should come in with. Both Dr. Bernstein and Barrett say there are conversations about a similar trial starting in Canada. Results from the UK trial are expected this summer. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.